welcome back everyone in the previous video i have discussed how to create the ui for state view now as per this ui after selecting any state if the user clicks on this floating action button then the user should move to the city view and that code i have written here get dot two named roots dot city now in the roots folder in app roots dot dart here i have created two roots one for city another one for area because after selecting the city the user should move to the area view and in app pages here i have created this city view and this area view correct now let me move to the splash controller in the splash controller if the user is already logged in this means if the user id exists then here also i have changed the code if the user has selected the city id it's well and good if the user has not selected the city id then the user should move to the city view similarly if the user has not selected the area then the user should move to the area view correct and in the else portion if the user is logging for the first time or if the user has not signed in then here also i have written the same code if the user has not selected the city then the user should move to the city view and if the user has not selected the area then the user should move to the area view but if the user has selected state city and area then the user should move to the home view the same code i need to write here also let me copy this and if the user is signed in then here also i need to write the same code okay now in the models folder like i have created the state model similarly i have created the city model and i have created the area model correct and in the repository i have created city repository and area repository like i have done in case of state repository let me move to city repository then in city repository you can see i have created this get city function which is taking two parameter that is a state id and page because the city will be fetched based on the state id and the same get city method has been created in the my api provider similarly if i go to area repository then here also i have created this get area which is taking two parameter city id and page because the area will be fetched based on city id and the function has been created in my api provider now let me move to my api provider in my api provider here i have created this get city and here i am calling this get city and i am passing state id and after that i am returning the response similarly i have created this get area and in get area i am calling this get area and i am passing the city id and after that i am returning the response correct now in the modules folder i have created this area and city now if i go to city and city binding then here i have called this city controller with city repository and my provider and in the city controller i have written the same code as i have written in case of state controller the only difference is that i have changed the state to city correct the remaining code is same nothing to discuss here because all these things i have discussed while creating the state controller this is the entire thing you can see here get city get city function is called and the city repository has been used and this is for paginating the city this function is for getting more city from server and here i have created this save select city method where i am saving the city id to the get storage and after that i am moving to the area view correct now let me move to area in area folder you can see this area binding is there in area binding i have used this area controller then area repository and my api provider let me move to area controller here also i have written the same code as i have done in case of state controller the only difference is that the state has been changed to area correct and here i have created this 
save selected area in save selected area you can see i am saving the area id to the get storage and after saving i should move to which view i should move to home view so i am writing get dot of named roots dot home and let me import this roots now here i will do one more thing let me copy this and let me paste it here here i will use selected area pin code this means i will save the selected area pin code as well to the get storage and to get the area pin code here i will write area model dot area pin code correct now let me run this now if the user clicks here without selecting any state then the user will get this message let me select a state after that let me click here and let me click here once again then we are getting this message now let me select the state sorry the city as this one let me click here then we are getting this area correct now let me click back now let me click here now why we are getting this uh, icon because for that i have written the code now let me select kolkata and let me click here once again then you can see that we are not getting a any area and from where we are getting this view because in area view here if we are not getting any data then we are using this empty failure no internet view that's why we are getting this particular view similarly if there is no internet connection we will get no internet view and if there is any error we will get the error view correct now let me click back let me select this once and let me click here once again then we are getting this area now after selecting the area if i click here then we should move to the home view and that code i have written here fine okay don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching